Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, storm forecasts, upper level patterns, and a slate of top science news to start your day. As plasma filaments dance and tiny active regions begin cropping up even without visible sunspots associated with them, we are starting, as always, with our star at spaceweathernews.com. Coronal hole on the south turning through, pushing faster solar wind, but tough to tell if its stream will reach north enough to impact Earth. Right now, the solar wind has a different event unfolding. Top in blue, just this morning, the phi angle flipped, a brief solar wind magnetic reversal and flip back. Below that, orange density peaked out with the sector boundary, and even though it's not geomagnetic storm conditions, a crossing of the solar system current sheet causes electromagnetic disruptions at Earth. It's the yellow instability this morning. Let's go to Dorian. And while NASA has been in overdrive in terms of rainfall and overall storm analysis, the hurricane is not done yet. We've got the GFS and Euro models left and right. Running together, there is less than a 5% difference in the intensity and track forecasts combined. This is today and tomorrow's expected motion. Eyes open and hunker down on the coast. Taking it up to the polar vortex in the south, this was just one month ago, but today the breakdown is in full swing. FYI, for those who heard about the sudden stratospheric warming, that is called springtime. It breaks down the vortex every year around this period. Still no sign of formation in the northern vortex, likely to be starting in about a month. Let's go next to Jordan. Not exactly your most verdant and agriculturally productive region, nor the most peaceful. Interesting story about how the entire country is on the brink of being without water, and is generally surrounded by nations unwilling to help them. Article Stumble up next. The title makes a relatively definitive claim that sounds like it's based on observations. In reality, it's only a model, just a computer program, being reported as if it were actually happening or had already happened. Careful reading helps. An interesting conundrum I'll need to investigate further is the super non-nova explosions in NGC 6946. They say they are phenomenal X-ray outbursting events, but with no visible counterpart, meaning these are definitively not your normal NOVA events. Now, while the scientists wrestle with black hole eats star hypotheses, I am very interested in dust-obscured micronova potential or super flare events that would be less likely to present in optical wavelengths. And now we're on to the top story. A spectacular look at a Taurus jet feature of an active galactic nucleus. ALMA's discoveries keep on coming. Today, its high-resolution capability is allowing for detailed understanding of the structure and motions of the material within, and this is one of the more impressive papers this year on the topic, after we saw dozens in 2018. Love to get it rolling again here if we can. And one last little note. University of Michigan claims that its survey and study reveals that older Americans are unprepared for disaster, physically, not mentally. Most actually said they felt ready, but had taken fewer steps to prepare than either Michigan would have expected or would have been expected based on their stated state of readiness. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.